Akai MPK Mini Gang, what up, brother? I'm back for another unboxing. Um, this won't be kind of like a tutorial, but not necessarily like a tutorial. Um, and I say that because uh, this piece of gear that I'm about to open up is like high tech. It's high quality tech, wiring, gearing. It's real nerdy, and so. Um, you guys will definitely get a kick out of this. Uh, the future is here. This piece of gear has been out for years, though. Um, I've just been waiting on the right time to buy it. Um, it's made by a company called Retro Nims. So you can follow them at Retro Nims. Um, they actually are a partner. They partner with Akai. Um, and uh, they created the MPC uh, app or the iMPC app on iPad and on um iPhone and they recently dropped IMPC Pro and then later its predecessor IMPC Pro 2. So just to give you a little background on the company, um, they are um, a sample based company of course because you know they work with MPC so inside of their software they have stores where you can go and buy sample packs and things like that um, and so uh, they're a really dope company. They respond on social media. They got an Instagram and all of that. So, yeah, um, follow them, hit them up, and uh, hopefully uh, this will be a video that will uh, be in their favor. I'm pretty sure you guys will enjoy this. So, um, of course, you know by the title, I'm unboxing the Retro Nims Wedge. And uh, basically, the Wedge is a piece of tech that uh, will enhance your mobile studio. And again, this piece of gear has been out for years, and uh, I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys are not up on it. Uh, my audience is still pretty small. I'm, what, around 4,000 subscribers now. So um, a lot of people just don't know about this piece of gear. And so, you know, hey, let's get it. So, of course, you see I got all the mail and crap blotted out <laughs> because of uh, Internet trolls. Uh, make sure you respect the blade. Um, because if you disrespect the blade, the blade will disrespect you. Um, I was surprised that they put the two day priority on it. And so, um, I'm really happy because I got it really quickly. Especially the fact that, you know, when it, uh, has the tracking number and the insurance on it, um, you can, uh, you can track it. Sorry about this blurriness. Hold on a second. Let me refocus. Sorry, guys. Um, so, yeah, I was able to track it. And uh, I got it really quickly. So I want to make sure I don't slice my hand open. <laughs> this will turn into a different type of video. Okay. First off, just noticing that the packaging is uh, good. They packed it in really good. There's a second box inside of the main box because, you know, I'm, I'm kind of uh, self-conscious about um, having packages delivered. I've seen those videos online where you'll have a, a postal guy come and uh, just throw a television over the fence. <laughs> and so, uh, yeah. I'm glad this is packaged very well. First of all, you'll see the Wedge logo there. And also the Retro Nims logo. And the company name. Alright, make sure I get that center screen. Or at least semi-center screen. Alright, moment of truth. A couple guys were complaining about how long my unboxing was for the... Uh, a kind BK uh, mini uh, Black Widow. It's just like you got to take your time with this, man. You got to savor the wine. You know what I'm saying? You can't just drink it all in one gulp. You got to take your time with it. All right, cool. So, make my way into the second box. Okay, so a little bit of uh, background on the wedge or, or inside information. Uh, for you guys that know about Bluetooth protocol, 
or uh, MIDI information. Uh, this piece of tech is cutting edge in that it is one of the first pieces of tech that combines Bluetooth and MIDI and solely for that purpose. So I'll break that down a little bit more as I reach into the box. I want to see what's in here. Got a little bit of pink protection. Yiddy. <laughs> I can use that for something else. I don't know what yet, but first off, I'm excited because I got a sticker. I like getting stickers for some reason. I'm like a little kid when it comes to uh, stickers, man. I got me a wedge sticker. I'm happy about that. <laughs> Just a little something in the box. I'm more excited about the sticker than I am the, <laughs> the actual unit. <laughs> Take my sticker and put it somewhere. Okay, so um, we have a pamphlet here. Um, looks like it's informational. It's telling me to go get the wedge app, and it's giving me an idea of how I need to connect this guy. Um, so basically, as you can see, uh, there's a iPad or iPhone here. You have the wedge, and ideally, you have your MIDI controllers that run and connect to the wedge, and then your unit will have your uh, speakers and whatever uh, you want to run out, your monitors, your headphones, your um, whatever you want to connect to your uh, device. And so uh, there's that, All right? All right, let's knock that out. Let's see what else we got in here. Remember, respect the blade. Respect the blade. I'm sitting here holding it in my hand while I'm trying to do other things. Let's take that out of the frame before I cut myself. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is an adapter. Um, the wedge. Uh, oh, guess I do need that blade. The wedge uh, is named um Peculiarly, I think it's named the wedge because of its shape. And uh, you can lay your iOS device on top of it. So it has a wedge shape. So inside of this box, we have our AC cord with a wall plug. I'm sure if you're in Europe or in the European countries, uh, this will be a little bit different. Sorry for my lighting. Um... And I'm sure that if you're in the European countries, uh, if you're not in the U.S., I'm in Chicago, um, this will be different. So it's a 5-volt in and out. So I'm sure if you lose one, you lose this port, uh, this information. Actually, let me show that just in case. Because sometimes, you know, AC adapters get lost in uh, luggage and travel. So you could just buy one of these. Make sure you have this port. And then you can get your wedge going. Um, so yeah, AC port, 5 volt. Right, right, right. And that's not a lot, but considering that the wedge will power your MIDI devices, and I'll get to that after I get to the uh, PLA resistance, <laughs> the creme de la creme, the moment of truth. Um, let's take a look at it. Let's see what it looks like. This is the unit. And just at face value, uh, it's light. It's very light. Um, it has a spongy feel to it. It it looked on the internet when I saw the you know the build. And you can look at Retro Nymphs YouTube. They have a bunch of information on it. It looks like a piece of plastic or metal. But now that I'm opening it up, it feels like a big sponge. And that's really cool because, you know, if you're tossing it in your laptop bag with your mini or whatever, it's good to have uh, that feel. So it's very spongy. I don't want to. As you can see, you can kind of bend it. <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> um... And on the bottom, you have a honeycomb uh, flavor to it. So uh, let's take it out. Uh, it's packaged very well. Of course, it's very tight. And uh, just one bag, one piece of plastic holding it in. And uh, the way that it's built, or the way that it feels, actually um, 
feels like that in transit as it was traveling, um, the shape of it and the actual feel of it protect it as you're moving it around from place to place.